just got through watching a fight hype little five six minute clip of Tiafimo Lopez talking with uh Mauricio Suleiman and Bob Arum <laughs> Bob Arum violates called him a schmuck <laughs> Bro, I'm telling y'all, man, he gonna get that book. He calls him a schmuck, bro. <laughs> Yo, look, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna break down this little six minute piece, man, and check check this shit out. Check this shit out. Unbelievable, this TL dude. This, this guy. Snack has played a, a huge part of my training. <laughs> The protein, the, the ZMA, everything, the, the pre-workout. Skip that, skip that. Leo Santa Cruz at 130, 135 for the WBA. Why can't we make undisputed for two guys at a catch weight where maybe 137 and a half or 138? For what? For both. You can't do for both, schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> 135. Oh, sh yo, Bob. Bob, Bob, low-key, yo, he don't like T.O., bro. After that shit he pulled, bro. He, <laughs> yo, he called him a smut. Oh, man, Bob. I have to fight for the but, lightweight. But they for the, I don't know. They, they did that for Leo Santa Cruz and Javante Nunes at 130. You can't. Where's, where, where, where's Mauricio? They did a 131, 135. That's Mauricio. They did a 130 with a 135, so it's not a schmuck. It's not a schmuck. No, where's Mauricio? 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 Where's Stop saying you from Brooklyn, bro. You don't look nothing like us, bro. You was a cornball. You don't got the same demeanor like us. You move funny, bro. You you move real wonky, bro. I'm going to say it like that. Fuck you talking about you from Brooklyn. You just got caught a schmuck, bro. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah, wait, 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 here is the, the, here is the right. boy. There you go. Mauricio, we got him. We got him. Mauricio, we're going to do a catchweight fight. Yes. At 137. Use your numbers. 137. With him and Kayla for both titles. Hell yeah. Can you do it? Understood. For the lightweight title at 137. It's never been done before. But look, we have YouTubers fighting. We have YouTubers fighting. Yo, this dude is doing anything in his power just to evade Devin Haney, bro. 135 is the limit. So if you don't do 135, yes. technically, it's not. So why did the WBA like, allow Leo Santa Cruz because and Monty Davis to be the WBA? But if we have all the belts, it does count in reality because you guys are still stating that these guys are world champions if it does count. That was the 130 pound limit. Yeah. 130 pound limit, right? But they fought for the 35 as well. Right. Yeah. So that's okay. Taylor makes 30. The 35. In 35. Yeah, you gotta be fighting 35 both titles. And how about if I go to the 140? I'm going to go to 140 and can I defend my 30 pounds? Oh my gosh, this dude is just blatantly ducking. It's just insane. How about I go to 130? How about I go to 140, yo? Can I do that? Yo, Devin, you got these dudes out here shook like a motherfucker. What you can do? Tio, don't you feel you can beat him at the full 140? I can beat him right now. You know yeah, what I'm whatever, whatever. You, you ain't beating Josh Taylor, bro. You're going to get spanked for cherry picking, bro. You know, history. History is meant to be broken. You know, you had the greatest of all time, Monty Davis, fight Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley fought Tyron Woodley. You know, I'm just trying to do the same thing. I'm trying to show everybody. Look, now we got Canelo and Caleb Plant fighting for Undisputed. Now everybody wants to become Undisputed. Why? You just got to set the tone. That's what it's all about. You know? So in other words, he trying to say he set the tone for becoming undisputed. Where? You're not even undisputed. You un you unified. The fuck are you talking about? So it's setting the tone for he everybody. Said, all right, and all right. this helps. He's this fighting helps. for the undisputed, right? Yes, amen. Undisputed. This helps. Wait till, this wait till, helps wait till, my, wait till, this helps my people and my friends. The, wait till he gets the bill after the fight <laughs> for sanctioning fees. <laughs> oh, no, I know. It's like 200000 Don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's okay. That's, that's not because care about money. I don't care about, about that. Money. It's it's more than that. It's, it's, it's about representing the belts that matter. 
And that's what it is. We fight for it. So why you ain't going to get one of the other belts that matter, bro? Why you ain't going after the WBC? 135 belt. Glory, we fight for becoming a champion in life and being a, becoming a champion in our sport. The NBA, the NFL, the NHL. Going on, Josh no, it's it's, it's more than that. On, so Taylor. if I gotta spend Nobody. something, if I gotta spend. Okay, but who's calling out Devin Haney? Nobody. Why are you talk? Why are you supporting this shit? To senior support this shit, bro. This 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 this, this motherfucker's a bozo. Just to keep my belts in that era. I'm going to do it. Yeah, at 140, I will do it. At 147, I will do it. Because it Okay, but at 135, will you do it? At 135, will you do it? The fuck? In reality, that's what it's about. It's about becoming a world champion. And it's about defending your titles and going to get all the straps becoming undisputed. That's what it's about. Life, a world champion at home, and a world champion in boxing. The sport that we bleed, the sport that we love, and the sport that we do a lot of sacrifices for. That's what it's about, man. So, yeah, the two-time undisputed world champ, that will be. If I have to let go of 135 to be doing that, I'm still going to be known as a two-time undisputed. Oh, look at that. He willing to let go of all the straps. The straps that he just took from Loma. He willing to let all those go to skip over Devin Haney. To fight Josh Taylor, bro. Do you hear this? Does this sound like a fucking heart of a champion? You know what I'm saying? Josh can't make 135. I can still do the 35. I can still do 140. I can go to 147. It don't stop here. And it won't stop. We keep moving we just, forward. We just, because look, fight at in reality, That's it. We go to Mauricio has been in the game for... Oh, you hear that? He said, we just need one fight at 140, then they going straight to 147. So let me see. They don't want to, he don't want to smoke with Devin at 135 for the WBC. He goes to 140. He he wants to fight Josh Taylor. He must think he going to beat Josh. Then he want to go up to 147, skip all the smoke at 140. You got Regis Progray. You got fucking Gary Antoine Russell. You got all these dudes at 140. Why you skipping, why you skipping them? Better yet, why the fuck is you leaving 135 without finishing the business, homie? What's up? That's crazy. So long. His father is the true founder of it all. You know what I mean? So we have to give that respect always. And I take my head off to that because in reality, it is true. We couldn't do this. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't become where I'm at today if it wasn't for guys like him and his father. Yeah. So, and, and that's, that's... Okay, what are you today, bro? I don't, look, I don't take nothing away from you. You beat, you beat Loma... Um, fair and square. You know, you only beat him because Loma didn't want to turn it up in the beginning, for whatever for whatever reason. Then he decided to turn it up later, and you was having problems, homie. If Loma would have turned it up on you earlier, he would have got you out of there, or 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 pointed you out. But you know, nonetheless, you got the belts, bro. You fought for it. You fought for them belts. I give you all the respect for that. But you acting like a bitch, dog. I ain't gonna lie. Something that's always about, and it's more like, how how are we disrespecting the belts? Ryan Garcia, I couldn't believe when he said that. The belts don't matter. But, but you're so Ryan Garcia, the only one disrespecting the belts? You not disrespecting the belts? You ain't even going after Devin. You're focused more on followers. You know? That, that comes when you win. You know? Everything's like a package. Yo, how you going to tell, how you going to tell somebody else how to move? And you moving real shaky. How you gonna tell Ryan Garcia how to move? And you moving shaky. Tomorrow everything comes. But you wasn't saying that when you wanted more money, you thought Bob Aaron would shortchange you to fight Cambosos. But you talking about Ryan Garcia, bro. Where about yourself, bro? I focused on that. You know, everybody was focusing on cars and, and girls and houses. But when you become a world champion in this, you get all that and more. So it's 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 trying to Tweet, tweak a little brains over there and try to help them out and let them know that the belt. <laughs> God damn, this dude is a cornball. Oh man, this dude is a cornball, bro. Belts are always gonna matter. Boxing is bigger than me. It's bigger than all of us. Boxing has been in the sport since the 1800s, and and we've have died. We've have died in the sport. You know when people are gonna stop doing this YouTuber stuff? And I'm sorry to say this is when somebody gets hurt. Yeah, exactly. That way. That way. And Taylor. that's gonna happen real Taylor, you know, I, stop saying that I got unfinished business. <laughs> what unfinished business don't like do I have here? What? What unfinished business do you have? 
God damn, this nigga, yo, it's, yo, it's almost like Devin Haney don't even exist. It's like, it's almost like he never was even a, a boxer or some shit, man. This is crazy. I've been doing it all, my man. You know what I mean? Like, it's all, rea it's in reality, it's like this. We're gonna knock your ass out, brother. Look. Take the fight. You could, you could do all you want. Nah, dude. How about you take the fight? You take the fight, senior. You take the fight with Devin. Why don't you... you you worry about knocking out Josh Taylor, bruh. I don't know, man. I don't know. I gotta keep repeating myself. But I already know Ain't what nobody you're gonna, in this no, planet could be I, my but, son. But I know what he's gonna do. Okay, nobody, you know he's gonna fight. Nobody Cat could beat your son. So then, why he don't get in the ring with with Devin? Why he not in the ring with Tank? Better yet, Devin. But nobody could beat your son. And then he's gonna move up to 147 because he said he can't make 140 no more. And now he thinking Josh Taylor gonna duck him. Yeah, he's saying he gonna fight Catterall, then move up to 147. So this boy think that Josh Taylor is ducking him. So, bro, you doing the same thing to Devin then. You know what I'm saying? If you think Josh is gonna move up, you moving up to avoid Devin too, then bro. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? And then I gotta fight for all those other belts. And if I gotta fight more fights, so be it. I had to do it with the United States. When I when I was at the Olympic trials, I, I won at the US Olympic trials back in 2015 to represent them in 2016 the Rio Olympics. And this dude is crazy, bro. I don't know what's wrong with this dude, man. He got issues. I had to fight more because I got denied. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you see that? Uh, you see how tables turn? Bridges burn. You live and you learn. You know what I mean? Because now I'm the American Eagle. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of pigeons out in this world, but I'm the American Eagle. You know what, I'm saying? what the fuck does that even mean? What the fuck does that even mean? Yo, man, I'm off this. I, I can't talk about this dude no more. This dude just, man, he just he just make my skin crawl, bro. This this dude is a straight fraud, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Drop a comment. Like and subscribe. I'm off this.